Hello everyone and welcome back in the TSG. Next episode of the Goalkeeper Career Mode is here. And once again, thank you for all the support on this series. 100 likes. Next episode will be out within two days. And I'm really looking forward to this one. We are starting off against Newcastle. Very, very tough game. Then we've got Palace. Then we're going to the next round of the FA Cup against Wrexham, which will be interesting. Obviously, they're a very popular side at the moment. I assume they got promoted to League One, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I will check that nearer the time. And then we have Liverpool in the league. So no easy games. Clean sheet wise, we are second on the list. I mean, Onana is four clear of us. Doing very well for United, it seems. But yeah, we're definitely in with a chance, maybe. Um, it is hard to keep clean sheets though with Everton because some of our defending has not been brilliant. But look at Reinders and Beto, both joint on the top assisters. And then we have Beto in fifth, who is actually... Joint second, yeah, 13 goals, same as Correa. Um, in terms of the goals, Salah's a couple ahead. And just look at that. We are worth £58.5 million. Pounds. 85 appearances already to our name. That is crazy. I don't feel like i played 85 games on this YouTube series, but I have. And I will keep going, and we are going to keep playing Another 385 games. We are going to see this beautiful career of Aaron Southern continue and see where we end up. Obviously, I need, do need a little bit of help this episode as we potentially only have three or four more episodes left of the season. So I need you guys to comment down below what team you think Aaron Southern should go to. Obviously, we've got Roma, Brighton, Newcastle, Milan and Juventus. That have shown interest in us. But we can also select a target team. So that could be anyone. Um, let me know in the comments. I will then do a poll. Maybe next episode or the episode after that. On the community page. And then I will make a decision. From the top two choices. On who Mr Aaron Southern. Will be playing for next season. As I think we need to push. For a team in Europe next season. It might not be the best team in Europe. But a team in Europe. Make sure we get some either Champions League or Europa League football. Um, but all focus on this season for now. We're away at St. James's Park. They are fifth in the division then, as you can see. We're eighth. We're a couple points behind. A big chance to get on the same point system if we win this match. That is the side. It looks strong. Let's get into the match. Come up, boys. Reminiscing of last season. Look, where Mr. Aaron started his career. Portsmouth, but he's come a long way since then. Fafana. Nice pass. Reinders. Oh, it's lovely. Beto finishes. Eight minutes in. Wow. Fafana to Reinders to Beto to the back of the net. Cut up, boys. 1 0 Everton. You didn't see that coming this early on at St. James's Park, I must say. But it's a nice move. Not the best defending from Newcastle. And Beto does what he does best. 14 in the Premier League for this man. Ball in. Headed down, is that? Can we push it away for a corner? We reacted a bit late there. Wasn't our best sort of reactions. I panicked a little bit. But we did just get down and save it. I think the guy on the line would have uh, blocked it anyway. Almiron to the edge. To Joel Linton. To Chave. Oof. Puts it wide. We survived there. He was going for the top corner. Look at him. Luckily he missed it by a little bit. Illing Jr. Beto. Illing Jr. Great pass for Fana. Oh, and he scored another one since joining. What a signing. What a captain. For Fana, number seven. Gets another goal. Puts us 2-0 up. That was a nice finish, actually. Touch there. Bang on his left foot. I'm not quite sure if he's left or right footed, but I feel like he scores a lot with his left. Maybe that's his strong foot. That's a really clean strike. He's not saving that. 2-0 Everton. Dream, dream start. Gordon. Shoots. And we get down low. Push it away for a corner. Very nicely done, Aaron Southern. Half time. 2-0 Everton. And I'm really, really impressed by that performance. Newcastle had a couple of chances here and there, but nothing we can't deal with. And Everton, this side that we've got here, 
has come a long way since when we first joined at the start of the season. We were struggling a lot, but now we look like a really good top half of the Premier League side. Beto, one more to Fafana or Fafana. Nick Pope makes a really good save, actually. Gordon, he's breaking in. Shoots near post. We save, and he's still got it, and we save again. And it finally goes for a corner. Here come Newcastle then. Only one minute to go. Let's not lose the clean sheet. Isaac shoots. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Oh. Why? Last kick of the game. Literally last kick of the game. Turns inside. And it's a really good finish. Oh, we can't quite reach it. But, oh, I just wanted that clean sheet so bad. Newcastle get one back, but luckily we have the two goal advantage and I think I think the whistle is about to go. It is full time, three points in the bag, good performance away from home. Newcastle weren't as good as I thought they were going to be, sort of not a great performance from them, but they get a late goal which ruins our clean sheet on. Look, I know it's annoying that I've got 45 skill points and I'm not putting them all on at once. It is because you know, I want to keep it realistic. We started off in League One at age 19 or whatever it was. Then next career, we jumped up to the Premier League. Our first season in the Premier League, getting to 84, 85 maximum is a bit more realistic. We don't want to just jump to 90 keeper. I want to sort of gradually get there and maybe be there in like three, four seasons rather than getting there straight away. So I'm going to put one more on each positioning handling and kicking so that has improved us a little bit it's put us up to an 85 goalkeeper so I don't think we're going to put any more on this season match day against Palace there there we are 85 rated in between the sticks that is the, the same lineup I would like to say I'm not 100% sure as last game but we're at home this time Crystal Palace they could be a pretty decent side let's see how we get on set set shoots oh good save Wow, chance for Crystal Palace early on there. Decore, Decore shoots and luckily quite close to us that one. Banks, he's thrown goal, he's beat two men there. Oh, he slowed down a bit and we caught up with him but... Oh my gosh, almost yeah, the shot was going miles wide, sorry. But it almost deflected and caused us a bit of trouble. Half time there, nil-nil. Not any glaring opportunities for either team, just... Sort of cancelled each other out. But let's get into the second half. Come on, boys. Fafana. Beto. Pick a pass. Shoot. Oh, Henderson makes the save. Best opportunity of the game so far. Half an hour to go. Let's see if we can get a goal. Fafana. Oh, Henderson is keeping Palace in it. He's made a really good save there. Garner. Foyt. In Burmo. Oh, again, straight at Henderson. Another save for Henderson. He really is probably man of the match so far. Beto. Good pass. Oh, it's lovely football. And we've opened up the Crystal Palace defence. And Barcola slots it. 15 minutes to go. He runs all the way to Daishi. But look at this. It's this pass here from Fafana. Finding Barcola in a bit of space. And he keeps it hard and low. And for all the saves Henderson's made, he's not going to save that one. We're 1-0 up. Let's see if we can protect this lead. Oh, for Farner, it's great footwork. He's got loads of space. Pick the right pass, he has. Oh, Henderson just gets there before Beto. Free kick to Palace then. We need to stay on our men. Mark them well from this set piece. Oh, he's gone short. He said it. Ain't Nori. Good ball rolls. Still has it. Sets it again. Danjumo down low. What a save. Mr. Aaron Sava. Look, he is celebrating with his arms in the air. The teammates are jumping on us. That could save us the three points. You'd back the striker to score there. Look how well we got down. Quick and low. Down to our left. Eight Nori. Back out wide. At least say over the bar. Three minutes remaining. We're going to hoof this one long. And hopefully, for this last three minutes, we can keep it away from our goal. Way over the added three minutes. And there we go. Oh, that 87th minute save was crucial. 
kept us the clean sheet. We may have deserved a clean sheet in the first game. We didn't get it, but we certainly made a brilliant save at the end there to earn the clean sheet, earn the three points, and two wins from two to start this episode. And we come away with the man of the match performance. Wow. I didn't quite expect that, but I suppose that save probably won us the match. So we can be proud of ourselves there. Another club has entered the race for us. So the five I showed you earlier, but Spurs also want us to sign for them. Anyway, time to get into this game against Wrexham. We have rotated the side a little bit. We brought a couple of new players in to the starting eleven, but still a strong enough side to hopefully beat Wrexham. Reinders cuts back. Nice bit of footwork. Shoots near post and good save, Lainton. Nice. Fafana. Beto Reinders, he's got to score. He does. Right into that corner. 1 0 Everton. We're being dominant so far. Wrexham hardly touched the ball. We could have a little FA Cup run on our hands. Really nice finish. No chance whatsoever for the keeper. Fafana. Beto. Mills. Fafana. Bend it. Oh, he's still got it. Mills. Yes, he scores. 2-0 Everton. And it's fairly comfortable. Very nice. Fafana. I thought he was going to curl it into the far corner. Got tackled, but it fell to Mills. And he made sure that he put it in the back of the net. Look at this. Just nips in and bang. Oh, I've messed up. I meant to call for it off the centre back and I called for it. Oh my god, it's a huge mistake. I called for it when there's a player in the way and I've left him an open goal. Oh, our biggest mistake of our career. I was hoping the centre-back would just lay it back to me. And then I saw a guy in space on the left-hand side. So I was going to ping it over to him. And, yeah, it fell straight to their striker's feet. And he just took advantage of us not being in the goal. Half-time then. 2-1. Our clean sheet's gone. Silly mistake from us. Luckily, we're doing it against a team like Wrexham, where we're pretty comfortable against. If we did that against a team like Liverpool, it might cost us. Or a good team in the Premier League, it might cost us. But hopefully the boys can get a couple more goals in this second half. Mills shoots and it's 3-1. Very, very nice. Bailing us out for our mistake. We are once again with a two-goal lead. Here come Wrexham. Cannon straight at us. And we get up and pick the ball up there. That was a powerful shot. Reinders. Beto. Oh, good save, Langton. Stops it from being 4-1. And we are being substituted off. The, the only goal we conceded is completely our fault. 12 minutes to go then. We do win 4-1. Reinders gets the fourth goal. And we were dominant. We should have been a clean sheet. But we're through to the next round. And that's all that matters. Wow. Our investments really aren't going well. The first investment we ever did was successful. And then since then we've lost money on everything. We put 425000 in. And it returns 361000 so that's quite a big loss investing in the video game. So obviously we'll take that money back that we did uh, recoup. But still a big loss there. Um, but at least let's just leave it for now and see how this stock market one does. Merseyside Derby to end the episode. We're against Liverpool who are third in the league. We are currently fifth with 43 points above Spurs in Newcastle. Let's see how we get on. We're home. And that's the side we're going for. Let's get into it. Big game for the boys then. Could be a tough one. No mistakes hopefully this time out. So a slide. Gakpo near post. Early save. Salah. Bends it. Oh what a save. What a dive. So a slide has it. Chips over his head. Shoots. Oh my gosh, wow. What a finish. I mean, we just saved what Mo Salah was just curling into the top corner. And then we have to deal with that straight after. What a finish. Sobersly. What a touch that is as well, by the way. To just get it over the player's head on the volley right in the corner. 
I thought that save against Salah was brilliant and then he just goes and does that. We have got no chance. We are at full stretch. Wow. Oh my word, he's put it wide. Sobberslight again with an opportunity. This time only just goes wide. Sobberslight again. Ooh. Good save to our left. Liverpool having so many chances. Sobberslight. Pedro. Gakpo. Shoot. Straight ass. Comfortable save. Mo Salah still going. Hakimi. Shoots. We save and it's... Oh no. Falls straight to Gakpo who's quickest to the rebound. And it's 2-0 Liverpool right before half time. They have not let us touch the ball hardly at all this first half. They've been so good. But look, we make the save. And unfortunately, it just falls straight to uh, back to Gakpo. And he's not going to miss that one. Wow. Marino. Gakpo. He's through. Oh, my gosh. Constant pressure from Liverpool. Mo Salah. We easily catch that one. Fafana. In a dangerous position. Oh, he's put it over the bar. Oh, he skied it. That was an opportunity and we're getting subbed off. We're on a four-something rating, but neither goal we could do anything about. So, I think that's a bit harsh on our point of view. Um, but, yeah, we're going to simulate the rest and we lose 3-0. So, Salah scores whilst we're off the pitch. And Liverpool, they were brilliant, to be fair to them. They played really well. And, yeah, like I said, we made a couple of decent saves. Nothing we could do on the goals. All right, now we've, uh, you know, making a bit of money for ourselves. So I'm going to purchase ourselves a nice luxury watch, £127,000, a few Maverick points to go along with it. And then we're also going to do our bit for the environment. We're going to purchase an electric car, £127,000 as well, to... Nice, big purchases there. Reward ourselves for some decent performances. Oh, big episode next time then. Villa in the league, then a cup game against City, the FA Cup, and then a league game against Spurs, and then Sheffield United also. Um, from this episode, though, obviously we had the win against Newcastle, which was a great result. A win against Palace, good result. Win in the FA Cup, um, and then a loss to Liverpool. So three wins out of four. I am happy with that. We currently fall to sixth position then and we've got Villa next episode who are a few spaces below. If you did enjoy this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Remember to let me know in the comments any other team you may suggest. I've been a TSG. Goodbye.